We are right now at the Jakao port in Kutch region where cyclone vapor joy is going to make a landfall between 4 to 8 p.m. this evening. Now, as per the IMD, this is a very severe cyclone, but as it's near, uh, as it's making its way to uh, the Kutch region of Gujarat, the wind speed, the intensity of the wind speed is reducing by every passing hour. Now it stands at about 115 to 120 km per hour. But that kind of a wind speed has the potential to swarm the entire region with storm and heavy rainfall. And that's why a red alert has been issued in, this, in, in the entire state of Gujarat, and especially in the seven districts which are going to be the most affected. And one of them, of course, is Kutch. Uh, where uh, the Jakao port is. It's been shut since the last five to six days and the operations are going to be shut uh, at least till the weekend. And if we see the larger impact, it is going to, of course, impact the business uh, nationally as well as internationally. This is one of the ports, I'll tell you, one of the biggest ports of this country which uh, deals, which exports fish as well as salt. And uh, this is uh, this is where the entire uh, fishermen uh, colonies were as well, which have now been evacuated. About 75,000 people have have been evacuated from the entire state of Gujarat. They have been taken to uh, the shelter homes. Only if we talk about the Jakao region, uh, more than 5,000 people, more than 5,000 people living along uh, the coastal lines have been evacuated and taken to shelter homes. Now, these were the areas where uh, the fishermen used to live and that uh, remains to be the biggest worry that whether uh, the infrastructure is going to uh, survive this kind of a wind, wind speed and the storm which is going to come with the cyclone uh, Bipajar. It's going to make a landfall uh, at about uh, 4 to 8 p.m. That's the estimated time which has been given by the IMD uh, as of now. But I'll tell you that on the ground situation as of now is normal. You can see the wind speed is picking up. Uh, the entire route till the Jakao port has been barricaded. Absolutely nobody is being allowed to uh, go till their operations has been shut. The authorities are on the ground leaving no stone unturned, ensuring that there is zero casualty and there is no loss of human life. That's a, that's a uh, sort of a, uh, you know, that, that, that's a directive which has come from the central government as well as the state government that there needs to be zero casualty. Uh, the authorities need to ensure that there is no loss of lives. Uh, cyclone Bipar Joy, which is said to be one of the most deadliest uh, cyclones uh, this country has ever witnessed in the recent history is going to be. And this cyclone is going to make uh, it's landfall between 4 to 8 p.m. at the Jakao port. Now, if we talk about the preparations, uh, about 12 to 13 teams of NDRF as well as SDRF have been stationed here. Uh, apart from that, Indian Navy has stationed uh, a ships as well as helicopters and uh, they are ready to be deployed at a moment's notice for the humanitarian aid as well as for the disaster relief. Apart from that, the entire police force is on the ground ensuring that people are not venturing out when it's once it starts to rain and once uh, you know once the intensity of the wind goes up. The police official himself that absolutely nobody is being allowed in this entire area. About three kilometers from here, I'll ask camera person going to zoom in and show you that it's one of the biggest ports of this country. The Jakao port, IMD, the wind speed is uh, uh, estimated at about 115 to 120 kilometers per hour. It is reducing by 5 kilometers per hour with each passing hour. We of course hope that the impact is as less as possible, but as you can see, the wind is already picking up. Uh, the rains, it, it's almost uh, extremely cloudy, and the, it, it, if we go about the, if we go with the forecast, it is going to be. Uh, it, it's going to the entire region is going to uh, witness very severe massive rainfall and that's uh, what it also going to uh, sort of uh, provoke a very heavy storm and that kind of a storm is going to uh, cause uh, massive damage to the temporary shelters to the critical infrastructure and that's why the people have been st asked to stay indoors and not venture out once uh, the situation starts to uh, worsen with camera person Govind Antanushree reporting for NDTV from Jakao Port in Gujarat.